okay so let's get started uh, so job of a snitch is simply to determine relative host proximity so if you if a, if a node wants to see which uh, i mean if a node has three options say to copy the data to copy the replica which host to select which host to prefer uh, data from so that kind of information if you if that host uh, wants to get the node wants to get it will call a particular snitch to see which host is the uh, you know relatively nearer okay is that fine so and uh, snitches will gather some information about your network topology so it snitches uh, depending on what type of snitch you use they will be aware with the network topology you are using and they can efficiently route the various requests okay so for a single data center cluster using the default simple snitch is usually sufficient so simple snitch is nothing but uh, it is a rack unaware snitch it doesn't know about your rack uh, you know racks and data centers uh, in in your cluster it, it doesn't have any information on that so it will assume there are on racks and it will just give you the uh, you know neighboring host as a host uh, i mean the neighboring host as a not neighboring host it will just choose the host which is you know the closest in terms of the network bandwidth available and all the stuff so it won't even consider whether it has to give uh, the it, no it will have to prefer a node from the same rack or the same data center it will not go into those details okay but there are some other replicas available other snitches available which are rack aware and the types of those snitches are so first is simple snitch it uses a simple strategy of placing the copy of the row on the next available node uh, working clockwise through the nodes fine so rack inferring snitch is the rack inferring snitch automatically tries to place copy of row so we have taken example of placing the copy of rows okay so let's just take that replication example and let's see how does it go so rack inferring snitch automatically tries to place copy of rows on different racks in your data center so how will rack inferring work is it will know about your rack and uh, your data center and it'll try to place copies in different racks and different data centers so and how does it track how does it know about the rack uh, rack and uh, your data center topology so it basically from the ip address so the ip address it will tell you which one is the data center and uh, which is the rack so you'll have to configure your ip address in such a way that the second unit of ip address is used to identify a data center okay so second unit of uh, ip address will be used to identify the data center whereas uh, where a node is located and the third unit identifies the rack okay so if you have a ip address saying 110.98.100.10 so the 98 the second from the left will tell you the data center and the third from the left will tell you the rack okay and there is property file snitch so in rack inferring it will read the ip address okay but in case your ip addresses are not configured in that way what will you do you will basically we we have an option of defining this information in a property file so how does property file how do how do we define this information in a property file is this is how it goes so you can say this is the cassandra topology dot properties in con folder uh, we have it i have shown you earlier also probably i am not sure on that so this is how it looks so you have to declare you have to say this is my ip address and this is the data center one rack one this is ip address data center one rack one and so on this is how you define it okay so dc2 is the data center uh, details and the rack 2 is the rack details so you have to define the network details for each node in the cluster in cassandra topology properties okay and this file should be same across all the nodes it shouldn't happen like uh, this file is different in one node and uh, the contents in one node are totally different it shouldn't happen that uh, way 